Uh, is this okay? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Good evening. <laughs> uh, you look at me, everybody's looking at me, and I, you got it? Thank you very much. Well, I can talk while you do that, okay? I am very happy to be here, extremely happy. I have been in a cocoon for two months where I've been just doing what I'm supposed to do, behaving myself, working on new work and things like that. And I found out that behaving yourself hurts. It, it, you, I mean, getting up in the morning and doing what you're supposed to do every single day. But uh, it took me about four and a half hours to get here from Charleston. And all along the way, I'm saying, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And now I don't have to behave myself anymore. So you're going to get it. You're going to get it right now. Uh, everybody in here who has pants on say, ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Everybody in here who have underwear on say, ah, yeah. Everybody in here do, who doesn't have underwear on, say I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> None of you, all y'all got, okay, all right, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> so you know, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. The courier birds fly in flocks of millions. During mating season, each pair has its own song. The male sings, The female replies, <laughs> The male flies off, gathering grass, twigs, and bits of feather to weave together a new nest for the season. Half finished, he calls his mate, that means come into my nest. She lands gently padding around, checking the twists and half satisfied with this half finished nest. She says, uh -huh. the male returns. He's fully inspired. It's more than a job, more than a labor of love. It's the architecture of a more. He wants this side to be sun dappled that side to be swathed in shade and in the middle where they make life and love, let the sun descend warm and lush. When he's finished, he calls his mate. Come on, baby. Come on over here right now. I got something real, 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 real good for you. You want a house? Oh, baby, you got a home. You want a home? Oh, maybe, baby, you got a great big hug to wrap around you and keep you warm forever and forever. Come on, baby. Come on over here right now. She slams into the nest, scratching and scraping, pulling on it with her beak. She has the dream of love, too, but she also has the dream of the snake winding up the tree. Dream of the stork coming out the sky to take her babies. The hurricane dream, horizontal and blade-like, slicing up everything in its path. She goes crazy in the nest, ripping it, ripping it, ripping it, ripping it, ripping it, ripping it. She exhausts herself. The nest remains. She says, Come into my nest. Come into my heart, honey pudding pie. The male, totally distraught by the destruction wrought upon his work, floats inside singing. Uh -huh, uh -huh.
pretty summer day. Grandmama sitting on her porch, easy, rocking her grandbaby in her wide lap. Old men sitting in their Lincoln, tasting and talking and talking and tasting. Young boys on the corner, milking a yak yak, wild hats, baggy pants. Young girls halfway up the block playing, jumping that double H, sing that song and say, Can you kind of pile up, be on time, cause school begins at a quarter to nine, nine. Jump one, two, three, and oh. Round the corner comes this young woman, dragging herself heavy home from work. She sees the young boys, she sees the old men. But when she sees those girls, she just starts smiling. She said, let me get a little bit of that. They said, you can't jump. You're too old. Why they say that? Ooh, why they say that? She said, Tiny, you hold my work bag. Shanika, come over here, girl. I want you to hold my handbag. Josie, could you hold my grocery bags, please? Kevin, take my purse. She's like bobbing her head, jacking her arms, trying to catch the rhythm of the ropes. And when she jumps inside those turning loops, the girls cried, sing that song, they say, can you kind of pull up, be on time, cause school begins at a quarter to nine, nine. Jump one, two, three, and oh. They say, ah, uh, she dance and sass and sauce and ah, uh, jump for the girl, mama, jump for the star, mama, jump for the young boy, say, jump, mama, jump, mama, jump for the old man, say, jump, mama, jump for the old man, say, oh, go ahead, baby. What did the young girl say? What did the young girl say? Ah, uh, okay, so this is how it goes. I'm going to say, can you kind of Paula be on time? School begins at a quarter to nine. Jump one, two, three. And I want you to say, ah. Uh, and I want you to hold it as long as you can. You're going to find something in your belly, and it's going to be good. It's going to be good like an apple. I want you to just let it all come out. Here we go. Can you kind of Paula be on time? Because school begins at a quarter to nine. Jump one. Good God Almighty. Oh, that's beautiful. A jump, mama. A jump, mama. A jump, mama. A jump, 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 jump. All right. Y'all good. Y'all know how to do that thing. The, let's see. Monday, somebody's going to walk into this room, and they're going to just, what hit me? It's going to stay that long. This is called a Cora. Everybody say Cora. All right. Say Cora. All right. The Cora is a 21-string West African harp lute. It's made from... Calabash. Hide. This is deer hide. And those rings are deer hide. The strings hit the strings. The vibration goes into the gourd and comes out the sound hole. And the idea is to of the instrument into the realm of the poem where the voice of the jelly or the poet is living and I'm listening to it tonight it sounds really good I think it's Kodak I think he did it tonight hook me up anyway so the idea of the jelly is praise it's basically praise poetry and it's not just um, praise poetry for uh, 
I like your boots or something like that. But it's about the people who go through the sacrifice. Uh, I've been feeling kind of full over the last couple days because uh, Sister Coretta has passed on. And last year we lost Rosa Parks. And I, I'm feeling, I'm not, I don't feel hurt because I know what they brought. I know what they have left with us. Uh, but I, some, I'm thinking about the conversation that's going on now. You know, a lot, we're talking about torture and spying and picking up people without a warrant and things of that nature. And we're actually supposed to be working on something else. This is my idea. I think we should, you know how they send recruits into high schools to get people to go into service? I think they should fund recruits to go into the community and in high schools to draft them into going to school. You know, they just slice the budget in half for the military and put it into dragging people into schools like my father and my father-in-law, both of them cheated to get in the service, one for World War II and one for the Korean War. And, uh, I mean, they cheated because the sergeant watched them flunk the test. They're like 15 years old. And the ser sergeant started to write in the answers for them. You know, I feel like we should have that kind of effort involved in building up what we have in this country. But like I say, I'm not I'm not upset over that because I see a lot of people coming along now. Uh, I'm watching my daughter and her girlfriends, and they got that same sense of strength about what they want to see in, in the world they're going to be living in. You know, and it, I, it made me think that, you know, Coretta Scott King and Rosa Parks, they didn't just fall out the sky. They were drafted. They were drafted, and they were trained, and they were developed, and they were encouraged, and all that. So uh, I want to do this particular piece. It's called The Market. I love to visit the market at sunrise When the workers hit their morning rhythms They turn their tools into instruments The market becomes an orchestra of skill Young boys flip their baskets, they start drumming Young girls play their clay water pots The millet woman, she pound, pound They drum up business so high on the village Fishermen drag nets up from the coast Growers come, baskets on heads Arguing, bartering, gossiping, singing As beautiful as all this sounds to my ears I love when the tools are simply tools Dreams of the masters flow from their fingers This one wants his son to inherit his hammer this one studies a chalice so closely he can almost hear the silver shining. The millet woman, millet woman, took everything for her to climb out of bed. Do work she's done a thousand times before. She mourns a man who took her hands in his and placed his lips in each of her tired palms. Filled her with such an immaculate joy that she hid him. Then she lost him, then she loved him. The hardest hunger in the whole wide world is to reach for somebody gone forever. To keep her arms from hanging limp and empty, she pound, 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 pound. The carpenters hammer, the weavers weave, the music surrounds her, the rhythms embrace her, go on. Go on, go on.
I love to visit the market at sundown. Bins and tables cleaned and cleared. Night wind rattling the wooden stalls. The market is empty, the heart is full. If you listen closely, if you listen very closely, you can hear the sound of my people dreaming. Sankofa High in the heaven you soul My soul Follow you Back to yesterday's moon It will remember me Back to yesterday's sun It will rekindle me It will rekindle The spirit into tomorrow Actually, the words were actually written by my brother who passed away a couple of years ago. He was wild, a brother very wild. We call him Brick because he could hit somebody like two blocks away with a brick. Uh, but he turned, he went through, uh, he got shot and he went through this thing where he went back to school and he started to work with kids who had, uh, who were, had gotten in trouble, who were abused or kicked out of their houses and things like that. He wound up working in South Carolina. And uh, the day I went to his house after he passed away, I found that poem, O Sankofa. And I, I put a little holler into it. But the thing is, is that I never knew my brother wrote. I never knew that he wrote. I mean, on his computer, he had written stories. He was always with me telling me, go ahead, man, go ahead and do it, man. that's good, that's good, keep on doing it. You know, but at the same time, he had been doing all this writing. And, and we're, we're close, we used, to, we used to have a good time together. We used to run together a lot. Anyway.
my baby got yams. What you say? My my mustard greens make your body feel good. But what about the things that you be feeding to your soul, your hungry soul? Put your foot in your mouth, you swallow your pride, bite your tongue, you eat your own words. I guess it's getting kind of gooey when you be eating at your heart. Bomb in the hands, calm in the hands. My baby got home, home sweet home. Like everything my baby got. I like every everything my baby got, and I like what she like. When she cook her yams, my baby like to sing. She sing like la 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 la. I like what my baby like. When she stir her yams, my baby like to swing her hips. She swing them like la 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 la. Oh, go ahead, babe. My baby got lips like perfect piece of pie. When she say oops, everybody say whoa. She got the naked truth right up on her face. I ain't telling nobody no secrets, but it's right there. When she tastes her yams, she like to lick her fingers. She takes her pinky, wipes the rim of the bowl, look me dead in my eye, and slide a pinky. Pretty, pretty lips. She be tasting. I be liking it. I like my baby like. I like my baby like. I like my baby, my baby like. I like my. I like Just about all of these poems come from a work uh, is dealing with uh, an expedition, and it's a, basically a long love poem. And this is one of the final pieces in it. It's called "Run." Past the flapping tents, down the burning beach, waterfall, where you bathe your splendid body. Slide underwater, 
hiding from a blind man. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you, baby. I gather your garments, mash them to my face. Inhale, your woman, my modifier. You come running, you come running, and we spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. Faster, faster, I walk you down slow. Farther, farther, the closer you come. I want you to feel the heat. Hot, hot, hot. Can you feel the breath? <laughs> go, go, baby. Go, go, baby. Don't let me catch you. No telling what I do. Slide my arm around your waist. Hand down your belly. Is that your Audi? 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 Run. Run over the dunes. I will never let you go. Go down. 